So today we will be going over how to install the ArduX um, platform. So first up, I'm going to go off to Downloads. So it's right over here. Um, and this is done by going into this link, robolink.wordpress.com slash downloads slash. So first thing you're going to need is this Arduino IDE. So let's open that in a new tab. <clears throat> and pretty much what we have to do is we have to scroll down over here. We just have to go over and download this IDE. So I'm going to be doing it with the Mac version, but it will easily work for any other version. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to choose which, uh, which architecture you're using. So I'm using a Mac, so I'll download the Mac. You'll see it'll show over here. Um, and while we're waiting, let's go ahead and start downloading the other stuff. So for this one, <clears throat> the way it works is you're going to look under CP210X package. So all you have to do is scroll. So it'll start off like this. You'll know you're in the right place when you see this header right here. But pretty much what you're looking for is the CP210 package. What you're going to do is you're going to hit download right here. I'll start downloading. Now that we have finished downloading all three of these files, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our downloads folder. We're going to open up the Mac version right over here. So what it's going to do is it's going to unzip the file for us already. Um, but from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take that file and you're going to put it in your applications folder and it should instantly install. Except that file then what you should do should bring up this so from here what you're going to see is you're going to have every little thing about the Arduino um, aside from that what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your downloads folder you're going to open the add-on files which is the Rookit Arduino file um, you know open that it's going to unzip it already. And you're going to take these hardware, libraries, license, readme, all of this. You're going to take that and you're going to put it directly into your, docu your document. And what it's going to do from there is you're going to open your Arduino. <coughs> you're going to go to Arduino, Preferences, and you're going to look for that file. Luckily, I put it in downloads already, um, and all you have to do is select Rocket Arduino 101. Choose, then press OK. After this, you're going to exit out of Arduino by clicking on this. Now, when you reopen it, what you should be able to see now is the ArduX boards. So you can see the ArduX 100 and 200 right over here. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to install the Arduino drivers, which are in this one. So all you have to do is open it, press open. So, you know, automatically install. If you really want to, you can read each and every one of these. Press I accept. And sure. So it's just going to install it. Um, take a couple minutes. Um, Yep. 
from there, so now you have the drivers that can read the Arduino 200, 100 um, using the USB serial ports. Uh, from here, we're going to start connecting the Arduino onto our board. Um, one of the key things, if you want to actually look up which uh, port your Arduino is using, is you're going to go here, you're going to about this Mac. You're going to go to system report and then you're going to go to USB. This will show you where your of uh, like which port your controller is using. Um, but from here, what we're going to do to test whether it's working or not, we're going to go to examples, communication, ESC2 table, and then we're going to verify Also gotta make sure the port is correct. Yep. So you verify, you compile, you upload. So what's gonna happen is you click on the serial monitor and you press start. You should be able to see all this if you did it correctly. So, this concludes the ArduX tutorial on how to install it. See you next time.